Hello everyone, this is Pretty Awesome here, and today we are taking a look at LB Photo Realism. Uh, this is the texture pack we used throughout episode 1, and uh, I think 2, and any shot basically in the manor. And maybe one or two times in other shots, it really depends, but anyways, this is the pack we used, and I figured I would do a video on it instead of responding to the YouTube comments, just because this might be a little bit more entertaining. And you get to see the texture pack in more detail and uh, more of the blocks other than the ones we just used in episode one. So here is a quick overview of all the blocks. And while I show them to you, I just would like to say that this texture pack has, I think the most detail packed in out of all of the other ones out there. Uh, just because again, zooming in really fast, you just, you can see the little attention to detail that the uh, creators used, which I just think is fantastic, especially for machinima work. Um, for those of you guys that want to get the most detail out of Minecraft you can, this is definitely the pack for it. Uh, furthermore, I think that all the blocks meld together really well, and by that I mean nothing is really out of place. Uh, again, the only two that I think are out of place would probably be the pumpkins and or the jukebox thingies over here too. But, I mean, as a whole, the texture pack is just perfect. It melts together without a hitch. Um, and I think a lot of other texture packs that are HD like this tend to suffer from that. And they don't, uh, they don't really take the time to really concentrate and make sure these things work together. So definite kudos to the creators on that. And uh, just reviewing some other things uh, throughout here. Um, some of the ferns and the grass. Yeah, just going a quick overview. Uh, nothing too, too special. Very practical and so on. And there's Aaron fishing. Have a cookie. Oh, whoa, whoa. There you go. There's a cookie. And lava. And actually, the water is really, really nice. Um, I love the animation on it. It's very detailed. Um, one of the few packs that stands out for that aspect. Fire, fire, da, da, da. Um, and let's actually go take a look at the mobs. Um, because I really like the mobs in this game as well. Well, not the mobs, but the characters, creatures, whatever. Um, just absolutely fantastic. I think I like when they take the time to put the amount of detail into, you know, everything else in the game other than just the blocks. <clears throat> and uh, that's a really important part of this, I think. Got the chickens who happen to have laid an egg. And here's some other creatures over here as he spawns them. Got the skeletons. Yeah, I mean, just the amount of attention to detail I just think is absolutely fantastic in this texture pack. Got the wolves and some of these other guys over here. And there it is running away, but close enough. While you deal with that, have fun. And let's actually go take a look at the house that we did. Um, I'm too lazy to walk over there. Uh, so this is a quick little mock-up we did to show the texture pack uh, and more of a practical purpose of what you would build with it. And I think they were going for a medieval theme with this pack. However, um, it is kind of medieval. I mean, it's, I don't know how to explain it other than that because it's so general and that you can do so much with it. <laughs> you'll get them you'll get them and that it's so general it makes this pack really versatile um besides stuff like uh sci-fi builds and all that you can pretty much do everything with this pack which is which is fantastic and uh some of the wheat and various stages of it growing and let's take a look inside the house shall we and there we go close that door and here's where you can see everything when it melts together. Um, and it's where it's really important. Sure, I can show the little blocks out there and how they look, but what's really important is how everything uh, melds, which is pretty much seamlessly. And it creates an excellent atmosphere too. Um, also here's the red bricks, which is probably one of the best red bricks out there. I tend not to use them that much, and you'll see that in uh, future episodes of the Machinima, just because most of them just look ugly. But in this case, Fantastic. Hello there, teddy bear. And, um, yeah, so looking around the house a little bit more. I can go too into detail. Here's some of the plants. And, yeah, so this is just a quick little review of one of the purposes you can use it for. And let's go take a look at the mountains over here. Um, and we're going to go look at the terrain. Hi, kitty cat. And let's fly. 
Uh, when it comes to the terrain, I actually like the, um, there we go. Yeah, when it comes to the terrain, I think, again, this is one of my favorite parts of the texture pack, uh, just because it is realistic. None of the grass textures are, like, stretched or messed up, um, especially showing how they meld together in these blocks here. It's just really natural and organic, and uh, I think uh, quite a few texture packs tend to fail a little bit, uh, at least one of the higher resolutions out there for this type of stuff. And the creators really took their time um, and effort to put detail into it, which I like a lot. And here's some more of like how the shrubs look. Very, very detailed. And, uh, and again, the texture loops and repeats very seamlessly, which is important, especially in a game like Minecraft. And yeah, not much else to say really, other than this texture pack is really, really solid. Um, nothing that stands out, nothing that I really particularly dislike all that much. And uh, I highly, highly recommend it for any purpose whatsoever. Um, it's especially strong for things like uh, Machinima, but you're not really limited to that. So pretty much anything you would like to use it for, it's great for. Um, if you want to run the texture pack, you're going to need, what is it? Yeah, you're going to need Optifine and or MC Patcher. I am using Optifine because I just prefer it. And also just to make the scene look really cool. Um, yeah, again, just shows the power of the texture pack looking from this perspective. Um, yeah, I use Optifine because it's just so much more versatile. Um, and you can get the texture pack in 16, 32, 64, 120, and 256. And uh, not sure what else other than that. It's one of the best out there. If you'd like a download link, it is in the description below. If you would like to get a link to the mods, they are also in the description so you can run this. And um, yeah, I recommend trying it for yourself. This texture pack is fantastic. One of the best out there. And we will be doing videos like this for every pack we um, use within our machinima. And if there's other ones that we may have been overlooking and you would like to see our review of, we would be glad to take the time to do that for you. So thank you for watching everyone and we appreciate all the support for our channel, especially as a new startup. <clears throat> so yeah, um, please leave your thoughts in the video comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you prefer. And see you next time.